my name is Cheryl Kerr. I'm a writer and today I'm going to talk to you about a book called Photo Finish which is a mystery set around horses and horse racing. I've loved horses since I was little. It's also the story through my main character's background of a child who doesn't grow up in a standard usual family setting. She and her father who has run away are living on the poor side of a city and the story is based on a child. I actually had a teacher ask me to help when he was six years old. He was in the foster care system here in the United States and really needed somebody to pay attention to him for his learning and just because he was very lonely. So this is the story of how Rory goes home. 1970, when I was four. My father and Papa did not get along from the earliest of times. I think the first time Papa knew my father loved him was when I got left to him in the will my father made. Papa always said that in their whole life they only shared two things, not being able to talk and me. My father named me girl child, first child, only child for his father. I think he knew even then that he was dying, which he did before I was old enough to know to ask or to understand. Papa and I always did okay. I came with one suitcase and upon coming knew there was nowhere else to go. My father and I lived in a row house in an old part of New York City. When my father died, my Italian neighbors went through the apartment to find out what to do with me. On a shelf in the closet was a packet of papers tied with string. In it was a single letter about me. You're to go to your grandpa, Ms. Calzoni said in Brooklyn Italian. I didn't even know you had one. Carefully, she packed my few clothes and toothbrush. She wrote a second set of instructions and pinned them to my shirt. Now don't you take those undone, you hear? She patted me one last time and put me in the cab. The evening stables routine was in full swing when the taxi pulled up to deliver me. A tall, gray-haired man came striding up from the nearest big stone barn, distracted and busy, peering impatiently at this interruption, so obviously unwelcome. Lost, he greeted the driver, bluff and direct. I eyed him without a smile, sleepy from the long taxi ride. No, don't think so, the driver held out a message, explaining, nonplussed at my father, grandfather's reaction. Papa opened and read it, then looked at me, eyebrows raised. I'm Rory Kind, I spoke up. My father said to be polite. Are you now? He read the note again and looked at me. He knelt. So am I. You've had quite a ride. Are you hungry? I nodded. Something inside me eased, gentled by the ineffable touch that calmed many a wild-eyed animals at Kind's stable. I was home. I did not know until many years later that evening was the first he'd ever heard of me. So Photo Finish ends as Rory, the granddaughter, helps to solve the mystery that the book is set about. I'll give you a tip and tell you to look for Nirvana the pig, find out her role in the book, and how she helps to solve the mystery. She is the stable mate to the racehorse Mocha Man that is a main character in this book as well. I can be found at CherylKerrBooks.com. I'd love to hear from you and welcome the opportunity to chat with you about this book. Thank you.